So now we look to do a case which we call TRIPS logistics example. So here the company has has demand of 100,000 units. Okay. And they need 1,000 square feet of space for every 1,000 units of demand. So in this case, actually, you see that we actually need one square feet for one unit of demand, right? But we cannot use it like that. We have to use it in every 1,000 units because you are not going to buy warehouse or rent warehouse space by one square feet. You are going to do it by 1,000 square feet. Okay, or something like that. You will have, you can have different thresholds, but very unlikely that you will be just by one square feet, one square feet. So you will have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 like that. Okay. So anyway, and then for revenue, we have 1.22 per unit of demand. So every unit we sell, so we are selling 100,000. So we will make a profit of about 122,000 if I just multiply these two values. Okay. But now we have two options. We have to decide is that whether we should go for a three year lease for our warehouse rental or we should buy the warehouse space from spot market. So there are some spot, there are some warehouses, spot markets, people doing warehouse businesses and we can just buy a space from them whenever we need it. If we lease the warehouse space, it costs us $1 per square feet. But if we buy it from a spot market, it costs us a little bit more, 1.20 per square feet. And we assume a rate of return of 10%, 0.1 or 10%. Okay. So that's our scenario and we will see which option is the best one out of these two. So let's do it in Excel. So first here we write down our information. Okay. So we have demand of 100,000. We have revenue of 1.22 per unit we sell. Our warehouse space requirement is 1,000 1, square feet per 1,000 units. And then our lease cost is $1 per unit. And our spot market cost is 1.20 per unit. And our discount rate is 0 0.10. Okay. So first we look into expected annual profit if warehouse space is obtained from a spot market. So here you see that we have B3. B3 is this one, the demand multiplied with the revenue. From this part, we only get the revenue, how much money we are making. Okay, that's it for the sold demand. And then we have to deduct our cost from that to get our annual expected profit. So we deduct the cost from the revenue and that's when we get the profit, right? So to do that first, we have to divide our demand by 1000. This is because we said we always rent our warehouse per 1,000 units. So we are dividing our total demand by 1,000 units. So then we have our total demand in 1,000 units and then we multiply that with B5. That is our warehouse requirement. So then we multiply it again with our warehouse requirement that is per every 1,000 we need 1,000. That's why we are multiplying with 1,000 again. Multi and then multiplied with the spot price, okay? So in this case, it is 1.20, okay? So this is our expected profit for the upcoming three years. Every year, we will have the same profit. Although you see this portion here, we are doing so many complication, but it is actually very simple. We could have just deducted 100,000. This, this will give you a value of 100,000. But then it is not the right way of doing it. We have to understand the logic, why we are doing it like this. Because you know, if, if it was a different value, let's say it, if it was like 150,000, something like that, then actually it could make a difference, okay? But just because we have 100,000 and 100,000 and also uh, 1,000 and 1,000 requirement and our demand is also 100,000, so it's all the tens, that's why we don't really see a difference here. But anyway, so we get a cash flow of 2000. So we will be having a cash flow of 2000 for the upcoming three years. So in total, we will have 6000 for if we if we just look into with clean eye, we get 6000 in total. So 2000 per year. But now what we have to do is so we have to calculate the net present value using this equation here. Okay, that discount considering the discount factor. Okay. 
So to do that, what we're doing is, you see here, so we have for the first period, we will have the 2000. The second period, the 2000 will be divided by one plus K. So one plus K is this one, the discount factor. Then plus for the third period, the 2000 will be again divided by one plus K square because it is the period two. Okay, so that's what we are doing here. And then we are getting a value of 5471. Okay, so in clean eye, we would think that, okay, we will be making 6,000, that the money we'll be making, the expected profit we will have over the next three years, the value of that is 6,000. But actually, in terms of real value, it is about 5,071. But that is, so this value is for the spot price option. We were using our warehouse from the spot market. But now we will look into it if we use the three-year lease option. How does that work? This, this calculation follows the same logic. So again, this part, the first part here, it is based on the, we, we first have to calculate the revenue. So we just multiply the demand with our revenue, so we get the total revenue, okay? Minus we have to deduct the cost of warehousing. So here again, the same logic, we divide our demand by 1000 because we will be renting always in thousands, multiply it with the requirement of warehouse space for thousand, okay? and then multiply that with our cost for lease cost. And then we get profit of 22,000. So here we are saying that we will be having a profit of 20, 22,000 for the next three years. So in total, that is about 66,000, right? But is it so? The present value of the expected profit of 66,000 is not is a bit less than that. So that's what we calculate here. So here you see we have B13, okay? which is the same value. And then again, similarly, we divide the B13 by one plus K, that is our discount rate. And then again, we we add it, we, we keep adding all the present values. And then we add the present value of the third period, which is actually, it's uh, theoretically third, but in practice, it's second one. Okay, because we are assuming that we, we get the payment in the beginning of the year, or we make the payment in the beginning of the year. And then here we, Take that square of the discount factor, okay? And then we get a value of 60,000. So from here, actually, it is very clear that we should go for the lease because the spot market will cost us much more. Mm -hmm.